welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and join the ASM tech base email list for newsletters and future updates. In today's Archicad speed modeling quick tip, I'd like to show you a sloping driveway pattern, how to add a pattern to the driveway, pretty much any pattern you want. Very easy if you know how to do it. So let's get started. I've got a residential home here and that's where I like to add this driveway now, the sloping driveway. Let's have a look in 3D. There you go. So it's just simply coming in from the road and sloping down to my residential home. Just quickly, this one is just a home I used to have a front view. So I didn't really model the back. You've seen that before in my tutorials, but that's okay. We're only looking at the front anyway. So let's start drawing this um, driveway now. So the first step is I'm doing, I will use the mesh tool. The mesh tool, put in some simple settings like one meter thickness at the top. I add it to a material. I've got L paint one and I put it on a layer. This very first mesh we will draw, we'll see after you actually won't even see it. So I click OK and I simply use my space bar and click it in because already I got all um, the shape sort of closed off and then you spacebar click it. In 3D, as you can see, I've got this shape now here and we simply adding, uh, we simply move this up now, but I like to show you a little trick. If you started the driver and you don't have anything to move this up, it's actually quite good. What I do is I draw another one, another mesh, a straight mesh so let's just go as example from here uh, this one here and let's just move this there and just as example and um, let's just have a look let me do this first here in 3d those two it's a little trick there so what you do is you move the first one up right so this is this one here yeah that's it so let's move this up uh, I added some more because I did the space click, I added some more points. He said, so you have to be careful sometimes. So what I can recommend, I did start actually with this first to prepare this tutorial. And let me just um, undo this step. See, this is again, just quick tutorial, a bit of a learning curve. So I think I used a uh, polyline in here. Let's have a quick look. Yes, and I've got another one here. So I just select this one. And let's move this out. There we go. So we move it out here. Okay, now because I moved it out here, if I use now my mesh, it shouldn't pick it up. So if I click here, yeah, see it doesn't have a double line there because it did pick up. Yeah, I've got here a little uh, curb or something. And yeah, on there, so it added an extra point there. And I don't really want this. So this is better this way. And let's drag this back now. So we drag, drag our mesh back and we have another look. All right, so I'm back to square one. Now, like I said, obviously with this, it's quite easy, I can drag them off, but when I started, I did not have the grass and um, the plant area here. So what I did is, let's draw another one. It's a very quick, great idea to how to do this. Because we got a curve in there, it's not that easy to uh, make sure it looks nice. But with this little trick, it is actually quite easy. So. All right, so what I do is here, let's select this one and we go up, let's, let's go up by, let's make it 1500. Okay, this one here too, going up to this one. Now you can see already that is a little bit of a problem because I have to go to match this. You know, if I go up here, you have to try to match this so the driveway looks pretty good. So what I do is with this one, you move this up now to the same level here. And you can see already what happens. If I now select here, I can go and match those two points. Pretty good, actually. Let's take those ones. There we go. Go a bit higher. That's cool. So you can see what's happening. And you just zoom in and you go down again. Yeah, it's all good. So it's still later. So we go down. You see, you can match there. And same one over here and just roughly you know so this this is pretty good the curve that's the way it curves that's fine and as you can see now if I now take this and delete that and you have a look here 
look how nice this is okay so this is another little tip if you have a curve in it and you gotta match the slope to make it look nice now let's get back i'm not sure if that's obviously correct i can't remember what i had yes that was a bit lucky or i just remembered i had 1500 so i've got the drive in now nice sloping down and let's add some pattern to this we take this and we drag a copy and we go over here the next step is we use slabs now going here and um, the thickness for now i'll leave it at 200 project zero is fine too and i do have five different driveway colors or materials and those are the ones i'm using now driveway one i uh, have a layer called driveway 3d driver and i put it on there also important if you've seen my two tutorials before i do color code them with a fill which sort of roughly represents the color i have in my material great space click and now let's have a look if i go here we should have my driveway and a flat slab excellent the next bit is we do we um, actually do another space click so where was that slab space click again so i got two slabs on top of each other you select one and we just move in by let's make it 100 great then you select the outer one space click to cut a hole and the next one is when we simply go in here you go from driveway one to driveway two again for the color match a little bit a little bit similar to this one there we go okay so now which material is which straight away because a lot of time i go and export this to like twin motion 3d studio max and it's just easier for me to see what's happening straight away especially if you have a large model great so there you go so we got a nice um, two different colors already as you can see the driveway pattern I create are all done with slabs so it's flat nice and easy just make sure whatever pattern you do apply the correct material okay so we've got the pattern now ready let's move back to the actual driveway right so we got all them yeah looking good looking great next step next step is I need to lower the slabs so let's do this let's take the slabs deselect this one and let's make them oops five meter yeah that's long enough it just has to go longer than the driveway okay because now we use solid element operation so open this and this is target and this is operator yeah that's better in this case we use intersection execute okay so you can see this is the first step by the way you need another step so this looks pretty good but we got the double face because it is cut off exactly to the sloping dry face so what we're doing next is we do another solid element operation on top of the first one so the slabs are this time the operator and i think i've got it but it's just yeah that's cool so we go there so that's a drive the sloping drive hey, this is a target yeah i did have this and instead of intersection you use now subtraction execute okay so now this is gone see how good is that so this looks perfect now great let's go back down to our 2d don't need this anymore and we drag this back oh, great i did not group it that's why you should group this i thought i did but never mind so we move this back here and let's have a look now before you go i would like to show you one more little trick let's isolate the driveway and select the main mesh if you now change the height the driveway obviously cuts straight away see so whatever you do now with the mesh it will adjust it now this way you can obviously do quite a lot of different patterns just use the slab tool for this because you draw straight on top 
much easier than doing everything with the mesh tool on a slug. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip and we will be back next time. Bye for now. Thank you.